Okay guys, they're here, but they're not getting hooked. I, I just want to get, I just want to catch something this morning. Jesus, what's the deal here? Damn it! Was a smallie. Finally, something, and it's a smallie. Get in the boat. Stick, stick around. Stick around. Ooh. Well. <sighs> nice little smallmouth bass. I'm thinking I might keep it. I might keep it because this has been I've been, had a pretty bad time this morning and I've never tried smallmouth bass let's just make sure um, the length should damn 13 about 13 and a half inches yeah. let's try it oh gosh these guys are strong So I don't think I even mentioned that I'm uh, back to drop shotting. Um, uh, KVD Dream Shot. What's that pattern? Green pumpkin, purple, gold fleck, flake. Um, that's about it. Lost a smallmouth here at this rock and got some more bites and finally something, something hit. Something stuck. Got a smallmouth, I think. Tiny, tiny smallmouth. Sorry. So, I'm discovering that smallmouth like these like little rocks or boulders, whether they're submerged or not. And I think I'm, I think I've heard that. Okay. Tiny little smallmouth. Dang, I've run out of drop shot worms today. Okay guys, so the uh, the smallmouth has actually been marinating for about, gosh, like eight hours in a, in a solo cup, but uh, can take a look at it. It's pretty much like ceviche at this point. I could probably eat it raw, I'm not going to. But uh, it's been marinating in this stuff it's Chevetta's, is that how you pronounce it? Chevetta's barbecue marinade uh, from Western New York near Buffalo. Um, the, the, some of the folks here uh, swear by this stuff. I had it on chicken, it's marvelous. No one's had it on fish, so we're gonna find out what it's like on fish. All we're gonna do, we're just gonna put this on tin foil on the grill outside. We're gonna taste it and uh, tell you what we think. All right guys, so like, I, we, I just put it on the grill, it's on foil. We got some hot dogs here too, but it it is so clearly like already cooked just by sitting in this uh, vinegar-based uh, marinade for many hours that I think I am gonna try it as a ceviche uh, while we wait for it to cook. So let's, let's, let's see. Okay, all right, all right, so I'm gonna do it. You know what? That is so good. 
That is so good. It's like not too chewy, but there is a little elasticity to it. The the Chevella stuff is incredible. Um, kind of like a mild uh, vinegar vinegar based uh, barbecue sauce. Honestly, like I'm tempted to just eat it as is. It's so good. Um, almost kind of maybe a little sushi, a little sushi esque. But um, yeah, that's fantastic. And you know, from largemouth bass, um, I, I think of it as a kind of a very fishy flavor. Um, now again, maybe it's just from this marinade and how long it's been marinating. But um, this smallmouth, no fishy flavor at all. It's just that 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 barbecue goodness. Wow, I'm gonna take another little. Now watch, I wake up in the middle of the night vomiting, but. This is one, this is honestly top five, top five fish things I've ever made. <laughs> top three, I'll even say top three. Anyway, we are gonna let it cook and I'll try it uh, when, it's, when it's cooked, even though it kind of is already cooked. <laughs> okay, so whoopsie, we uh, actually filmed uh, me eating the, uh, the the cooked version uh, in in time warp mode, uh, so it's like fast motion and there's no sound. But the, the point was, was the, uh, it was still very, very delicious. That, that marinade is incredible. Um, I'll, I'll link it below. I, I hope you guys can find it somewhere like Amazon or wherever, but, um, it was just as good as it was in, in its, uh, raw ceviche form. However, I actually like the consistency a little bit better. Uh, before we grilled it um, so it was, it was a little bit tougher but still delicious and uh, um, since we filmed that time warp um, some of the other guys here tried it and they they all agree so um, you know it's a different different way to do it different you know I haven't I haven't tried really like uh, I mean we never even planned for this to be a, a, a ceviche type dish but it just kind of turned out that way and it and it worked so anyway guys I know uh, you know obviously filming a, a food tasting uh, doesn't do it justice to, to, to actually tasting it yourself but I hope you get the idea that 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 was fantastic please like please subscribe and as always Okay guys, it's the last morning here, got a late start. Didn't seem to, late starts didn't seem to matter yesterday because I didn't catch anything for the first three and a half hours or so. But uh, anyway, we have this island here, a couple smaller islands. We're just gonna explore this area. Uh, found uh, another boat house that might, uh, that might produce and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's get fishing. Okay, can we get another round of boathouse magic? This looks a lot shallower and the boathouse yesterday. Let's see. Okay, this cliff here tells me that this is some pretty deep water right off the bank. It's getting really windy, it's raining, so I've got the War Eagle spinnerbait on there. Gonna try our darndest to get a spinnerbait action here in this weather. Don't know how deep it is. Count it down. Lots of churches just like on the lake. It's weird. Okay guys, I just caught a little scrappy smallmouth, but um, I had a hunch. I used my limited knowledge of smallmouth 
Um, I don't know if you can see where the, the waves are kind of like uh, foaming right there, that little spot. That's a humongous rock. And it looks like on the one side, at least, there's like a steep ledge. And I remembered uh, my small mouth from yesterday hanging out by a big rock. So I uh, put uh, a jackal scissor comb. This is like a JDM weird like bug looking thing. Um, onto uh, the drop shot and uh, and this was after I already had tried with the chatterbait a few times and lo and behold I got this guy Again, nothing nothing to scream about but uh, You know Borderline keeper fish Probably all 12 inches not quite All right, so drop shot by the rock rock shot beautiful fish though love those bronze colors guys I think I accidentally filmed that in time-lapse but maybe it'll come out kind of cool uh, definitely my PB smallie I'm gonna weigh it in a second I'd say two and a half pounds maybe but uh, very strong guy took a lot to get get him into the net um, let me just give him a, a drink real quick okay zeroed out yep that's a two pounder all day Two and a quarter minus the gripper, so it's a two pounder. It it, feel, it seems bigger. I don't know. I'm gonna test my scale when I get home. The scale does say low battery, so I don't know. Okay. Again, nice smallie there, off the rocks too. Okay, so uh, all right. There's my smallie. There's me. There's my crotch. All right, guys, let's release this guy. All right, a bit of a, a bit of a slow, sl slow start there, but uh, I don't know if you saw he did kick off and go down, so uh, that's good. Um, so that was cool. Um, maybe I'll try try another one with our final uh, couple minutes of film here. Uh, sweet. All right, guys. I'm missing all my uh, smallmouth catches on camera, but that's okay. This one's about the same as yesterday's guy that we ate. I just, <laughs> I cast it for this buoy. Came up with it right away. It's not, you know, he's banging around and warning all of his friends down there. All right. Yeah, smallmouth are definitely feistier. I'd say like pound for pound, uh, largemouth are stronger, but uh, smallmouth are just more athletic and, and, and crazier. They put up, I, like, I'm willing to say they put up a better fight, especially because until recently, I, I would be losing all my, my smallmouth. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep fishing with my last couple minutes of, of film, but uh, hope you liked the, the second Adirondacks uh, installment of this summer. I had a great time. I, uh, you know, caught some, some new fish and uh, on some new lures. And uh, did I? I didn't actually. But anyway, this was fun. I have a long trip ahead of me back to uh, my old homestead, but. Uh, Good times, great oldies, good friends. Please like, please subscribe, and fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.